Hi, I'm Andrew Rellings and I'm Head of uh, Customer Operations at Atlassian and you're watching CBIT Media. Hello, my name is Oliver Wolf from Cybert Media and I'm here together with Martin and Mitchell from Avisi and they will present us CRM for Jira. Yeah, um, we built uh, LR CRM, an add-on for Jira Cloud, which uh, allows you to um, do customer relation management in, uh, inside Jira. So what you typically have is you have issues, you have projects, and what we add is um, companies and contacts and uh, you can save all kinds of information in companies and contacts and link them to issues. That's in very short what, what the add-on does. Mm -hmm. So for example, uh, what, we, what we're looking at now is a company overview with uh, some companies that we've added. Um, I'll just open a company to show you what's inside. So here you see a description that we, that we entered, some uh, contacts. So you see Mitchell and me in there. Um, and on the right side, you see all kinds of information that uh, is valuable to us for, uh, for this company. So the name, the website, contact information, social media, and uh, basically anything that you, you might want to uh, save for, uh, for your customer. Um, so here we have Gertjan from the Strake. Um, this is a contact, if I open him up, and it's basically the same, you have all kinds of information. Um, if I open an issue, for example, I'll just uh, see what we have here. You'll see on the, on the right hand side, there is a LSCRM uh, menu, where we can link uh, the company, Avisi, and uh, a contact, maybe this is interesting, because it, it's about Gertjan, and maybe uh, Mitchell, um, they're related to this issue. Um, so now anyone can easily access the Avisi company. And, um, and this is the same as we just saw, but if we go to the issues overview, uh, these are all the issues that are linked to this company. And we will see uh, the, the issue that we just linked as well. So what it basically does is, you have all kinds of projects, maybe um, a marketing project, maybe development, and this company overview gives you an overview of all the projects and all the issues in these Related projects. Related to the company. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that's in and high level. Then we have uh, we have a bunch of things for you to customize. For example, the template. If I would um, create a new company, for example, a model will show up. Let us create, for example, Cybert Media. Oh, perfect. Company. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Um, so now we can add your website if you like. Um, we decided to add contact information for everyone, so email address, phone number, uh, billing address. Yeah, it depends on what kind of company you are, what you do. But and maybe one thing that what you would like to do is add a YouTube channel or a YouTube field to you. Yeah, it's a good idea. YouTube yeah. field, so I would Definitely. like to add that in our. Uh, so. We just added cyber media, but we want to add the YouTube field. So as, as an admin, I can change the templates. So let's do that real quick. If the internet allows us, of course. <laughs> so here's the template that we just saw, uh, where you can add uh, information for the company. But we're going to add a YouTube field. Well, this basically allows you to. This basically allows you to add all kinds of fields that are interesting for your for your business. So we'll add uh, YouTube. Uh, yeah, it's a text field. We'll make a, the, a URL so we can click on it. Apply. Save the template. So if we go back to the company's overview. Well, cyber media is at the top because of your nice slashes. So now at the bottom, we can add the YouTube uh, channel that you have. Um, you, yeah, it would probably be easier to copy the link from somewhere, but uh, you, you get the idea. And then once you've set it all up, it will uh, come here. Maybe we could also add you as a... Oh, perfect. If you click here, you can just enter your name. Oh, 
Oh, Just perfect. add it. Uh, do you have a role inside the cyber media? Mm. You don't have a role? <laughs> Alright, ah, perfect. Um, so now, now when you click on your name, um, we see that you work for cyber media, you're a developer, and we can add it, maybe add a description, uh, your email address, um, yeah, basically anything that we would like. And you can see now that the fields here are different than for the company, because companies and contacts have different templates which makes sense because <laughs> you probably don't have a billing address, for example. Okay. Yeah. You could also show some, uh, when you go to the overview, uh, we recently added a lot of filtering options. So let's say, for example, I want everyone that uh, ends, uh, I, I know that a VZ uh, email address ended at a VZ. So you can filter them and then just search for uh, a VZ. And we also have some stuff like, um, that's not here, I think I have to go to the companies. Maybe each one. <laughs> now, we also have other uh, other types of fields. You have a description, that's full text search, because you can, you can uh, enter all sorts, of, uh, all sorts of sorts of stuff in that. We also have a, the, the simple text field that you saw, where you could add a YouTube URL or mm -hmm. whatever. But we also have another type, and that's, um, I shall add one. And that's for a single select, if you have uh, some pre, let's say, you can add a select list, and then you can add options. Yeah, maybe do a status, the status of this uh, company. Maybe it's for sales purposes. So yeah. active, inactive, prospect maybe. Uh, Then we can add yeah, other. You can just apply, save, and when we go to companies. Okay, we just added the, the status the status field, and if we, for example, if we see again, if we edit it, you can see you can choose one of the statuses. Let's say we're active, and if you save it. You can also, uh, in the table view, you can choose which columns you would like to see. So here we can also uh, activate status. And you will see active. And then you have the option to, uh, where is it, there. You can just filter for active, inactive. So it gives you lots of features to, to, to manage your the contacts and companies. No. And the information from the users can also be took from an Active Directory or an, uh, the cloud service, for example? Uh, not yet. We do have uh, import and export to CSV. You can import a CSV file and you can export to a CSV file. And we're also working currently on an API so that you can integrate with whatever you want. So you can took an export from an other CRM system and import it into your yes. Atlas CRM and all data will be available into Jira. Yeah, yes, okay. currently already possible. But we're also going to work on an API so you can maybe sync another CRM or maybe uh, your uh, accounting software or whatever you might have. Yeah, we first thought about making specific importers per CRM. But I think most of the time you want to Go to if you want to go to relations. Mo most people have data from multiple sources, and they just want to want to take the, all the data from everywhere and just put it in uh, CRM. Into Jira. Yeah, into Jira. And one thing that I would like to show is we have, you can currently uh, also use uh, the companies and contacts in uh, YQL. So you can search, for example, for all tickets that are linked to uh, a VZ and have a current uh, some kind of. Uh, if you go to advanced, I can add company, yes. then you will get the, the companies that are linked, for example, Avizi, and contact, and then you can use this to make your own uh, UQL uh, reporting things that you like. For example, uh, we what we do a lot is we, we search for these, these kind of things and then edit it in the last 
week and then you can see this is currently my active uh, stuff for this for the, this company or this contact okay thank you very much yes. okay bye thank you